Hey, welcome back to Steve's Tesla. It's delivery day and my partner's about to pick up her brand new MG4 electric vehicle from Windsor Auto Group in Sydney. And they're going to step us through the whole process of setting up the software, the preferences, sign your life away, pairing your Bluetooth on your phone and stepping us through all of the software controls that the MG comes with. If you're planning on buying any electric vehicle, have a word to the team at Windsor Auto Group and tell them that you saw this on Steve's Tesla and they'll have a special bonus for you. Today driving, I'd suggest having it in the normal vehicle mode that it comes in. Alrighty, so first before you plug that one in, mm -hmm. what we'll do is we'll hook your Bluetooth up. Okay. And then also Yeah. Yep. Uh, four double four. Yep. I did that pretty quick. There, you go. there we go. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we're all connected. Oh, okay. Yep. 97.3. So how do we check that? So now, it in won't here, work we get terrible that's right. service. No, that's fine. Just save and it. That'll work out. To save out. it. Yeah. Just press the heart oh, button. Oh, that's easy. And then they pop up there. Thank you. And then you've also got a digital radio show. ABC Listen app. Yep. Right. ABC Illawarra. Play live. Mm -hmm. And then here we go. And so the volume on this is going up here. What I'll do is if we go into the car setting here, mm -hmm. if we go into convenience, mm -hmm. this one here mm -hmm. stands for this star here. Mm -hmm. Right? So that's on the left one. If we go here. Mm -hmm. You've got energy recovery, drive modes, and air conditioning. Mm -hmm. So I'll set this one up here mm -hmm. for your energy recovery. Yeah, what's energy recovery? So it's the kinetic of brake, braking, which restores battery charge yes. whilst you drive. Oh, that thing where you go downhill, you... you when you take your foot off the accelerator? Oh, it restores the... Okay. Yeah, oh, good, correct. good, good. Yeah. Okay. So that's that one. Now it's set up on three, which is the highest range. Yeah. Which is what I suggest. And you can tell just by down here. Oh yeah? Yeah. Okay. Uh, what's energy saving mode? Energy saving mode just limits some of the functions in the car. So mm -hmm. it just prolongs how much range you have left. Okay. Right. So that will automatically kick in if you get under 10% battery. Okay. okay. It'll limit air conditioning functions mm -hmm. and also limit how responsive in a sense the motor is to all the torque that's being put through it okay here we go this one's your volume up and volume down okay between december and early february yep okay but and that one's gonna fast forward or skip to the next track yeah okay that's fine all right so it's like the music yep. radio thing okay this one here will be this screen over here so we can change that's just that's the screen here yeah and to get to that one, I've just pressed that, and then that will, these little buttons up here will go away. And then to get it back up, that button again, and then you can navigate with these ones through here. Yeah, it's nicely done. So then you can see the total odometer is 10 kilometers. Oh, hallelujah, thank you. When it gets back out of that. That does? Yep. Okay, and then phone? Will answer your phone That's call. That's answering. And also bring up, and will also hang up phone calls as well okay yeah. okay and that one just activates your different driving modes over here do i take the plastic off yeah it's just one of the plastic bits that we've always missed out that's okay um all right so what did we say so that's the phone yep okay this is the this is to get through all of these ones and to bring up your odometer yes okay and then this one is your driving mode sport mode yep what's sport mode just go faster yeah go faster i don't need that what's custom Custom. you set up through here so that's when you can adjust how the steering is how the suspension is and also the engine responsiveness okay i won't i won't need that for the moment snow yep when you're driving in the snow, snow. yep, <laughs> that's obvious. 
Eco, eco? that's going to save you the most. Is it be better the, to drive in eco? It's going to be the more energy efficient driving mode. Yes. What, what's the downside of an e, of eco? There's not much. Oh, good. Not okay. Not much of a downside. A and normal. Normal. What's, so the difference between so normal. And the eco? difference between your normal and eco is mainly going to be how your steering feels in these. So in your eco mode, they go to a tiny bit more heavier, and you're going to need to move it a tiny bit more. Whereas when you go into your normal, it's going to be set on your normal mode mm. or dynamic mode, mm. which means it's just going to make the wheel a little bit more easier and okay. lighter to move. Yeah. Right, well, we'll stick with eco. Oops. We'll stick with the eco for the moment. When okay. you set the cruise control. Okay. Yeah. How do you set cruise control? I would presume that button. Yes, correct. Hmm. I'm pretty smart. Faster see, but ACC, what's ACC? Accessories. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah. What's this one? That one is Siri. Or do you use Apple or Android? Apple. Apple. So when you're plugged in here, if you want to say, hey Siri, call or mm -hmm. message, mm -hmm. you just press that one mm -hmm. and then that'll pop up. Okay. Yeah. So cruise control Siri. Yep. This one? It adjusts you told me this before? Your energy recovery. So that's your automatic setting. Yes. So that'll automatically adjust how much trickle charge it's putting back in for you. Is that good? Yeah. That's Especially what we want Especially driving then. on eco mode, it's going to adjust it to the best bit for you. I hate to that stupid. What uh, do we say? This is volume. Yeah. So. As well as, no. So, so volume's up and down. No. No. We, when we're in here, just press this button again. Yeah. Yeah. So now we're still moving through this one here. Yeah. Press that one again for me. Yep. And now go up and down. That's volume. And that's your volume. Okay, okay, okay. So as long as there's no little icons up here. Yeah. That's going to be for your volume. Okay, okay. Now, I'll try to remember all of this. Park brake. Handbrake, yep. Handbrake, right. Uh, this is reverse neutral drive. Yep. Yeah. I, I'm cool with that. So, um, GPS through yep. my phone. Yep. How do we get that up? So, the home screen. The yeah. Home screen. And then when you plug your phone in. The little Apple CarPlay icon is going to pop up. Yeah, do I have to register that or anything? I believe you may just have to unlock your phone and allow it the permissions. So. Oh, here it just said allow then. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so let's just test that and go. So do I put maps in and I okay. go my home address? Yep. I'll just go. Oh, what has it got to just say? And then say I go, yeah? Yep. There you go. Toll. The trouble. Oh. So I guess I just have to contact them when I get yeah. there home. Okay, so what's on that will be on this? Yes. Okay. All right. So if we go into settings, mm -hmm. this is where you can set your ch scheduled charging. So mm -hmm. if you want to charge it, let's say, 10 o'clock at night until 4 or 5 o'clock mm -hmm. in the morning. Mm -hmm. All you do is just pop it there. Mm -hmm. And then charging starts 10 o'clock mm -hmm. and charging ends 6 o'clock in the morning. Is there a disadvantage in having no time? No, not really. It's just, it, I don't think it, it just stops because it's full, yeah. it just stops charging, doesn't yeah, yeah. it? So this is your discharging. So this is where you'd use your vehicle to load cable, I believe. You plug in and then you press start discharging. This one here is how much it's going to allow the vehicle to load cable to drain from the battery. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay, well, well I'll read up on that. Oh, um, I get it. So you can vehicle to load and you can say don't go below 50%. Yeah, correct. Yeah, yeah. great. Mm. Oh, that's useful. This one here will show you when you're locked into a charging port. Okay. Exactly. And especially if you're going to be using it for day to day and going to be charging every couple of days, because in essence, when you're charging the battery, you're swelling the cells mm. in a sense. Mm. If you're charging it to 100% constantly, like a phone, your battery's yeah. going to swell yeah. and okay. lose the longevity. Okay, so only do that if I know, yeah, yeah. do above 80 if I know I'm going to drive correct. into Canberra or something yeah, yeah, like that. Yeah, correct. Okay, correct. And you do that the night before. Yeah. Okay, so that says 421 kilometers. Oh, that's changed. Yeah, yeah, because we're in eco mode. Oh, yeah, good, good yeah. thinking. Okay. So the range will change dependent on what drive mode you're in. Okay. Yeah.
Goodo, goodo. That's fair. So if we go back to home, yep. is there anything, is there a weather um, one or is that, that just, oh, here you go. No, that's in, the weather in the one's in part. the X power. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. And then here you go, oh. energy management. Yeah. And that just brings you back to this battery screen again as well. And uh, air conditioning. AC is just here. Or alternatively, what you can do is if you just press and hold this one. Mm -hmm. So it's it does it. Yeah. What did? How did you get that up? The air, air conditioning. This one. Home. Home. And then I just press that one oh, there. Because that, that's it. Yeah. Yeah. And then you can adjust fan speed that through way. here. Or, oh, that's a uh, volume that's your of volume, your phone? Yeah. Oh my goodness, how many buttons? Um, and this is Demista? Yeah, so that's front windscreen. Back. Rear windscreen. Yeah. But normal aircon is through here. Can the aircon be adjusted here? No, it can't. That's I tried okay. having a look through with the star buttons, mm -hmm. and unfortunately they can't be adjusted. That's okay, to the so you just, yeah. you just. Lock is locking and unlocking the doors from here. Yeah, why would you do that? For safety or yeah. something? Yeah, refog light, yeah, yeah, okay. How did you get that into that again? So, when it just like start, all you need to do from the top of the screen. Let's go down. Yeah. And that gives Speaking you your, what would you call it, screen, settings? Yes, screen screen, settings. screen brightness, media volume, okay. and your phone volume as well. Okay. So if we go back up. Mm -hmm. That's the main screen that you have on all the time. So Correct. there's Apple CarPlay. Yep. There's the charging information, which is probably the most important, the yep. music and the aircon. Yep. And then similarly, music, phone, phone. Yep. this pair, we've already done that. Yep, but because we're plugged into Apple CarPlay, it won't use the Bluetooth, it'll use Apple CarPlay. Is that so okay? Yeah, yeah, For yeah. your phone and everything? Yeah, no, that's fine. Okay. Yeah. And if then, you had your unplug from Apple CarPlay, then it'll hook up to Bluetooth. So all you have automatically, to do, yeah, you just yeah. unplug and then it'll hook up. Oh, Bluetooth. okay, yeah. all right, okay. Do you do me a favour? Mm -hmm. Unplug your phone and load up the ice pad app for me. Got that there? Yes. All right. With the frame to scan. Yep. Down this one here. Slide that one over. Oh, slide it. Mm -hmm. I'm going to hold that for three seconds. For Siri. Siri okay, pops up. Okay, but I get in the car and, and, and I want to go home. Yep. And so, and then I want to go to my map. Don't tell me, don't tell me. I go to Apple CarPlay, yep. right? The map is here. Yep. Oh, sorry, you accidentally clicked music. So just click the one above. Yep, that one there. Perfect. Done. Okay, and then I think, oh, but I want to um, check messages somewhere along the line. And so I can do whatever is in there. Yep. So the first thing I do when I get in my car in the morning, mm -hmm. plug my phone in. You plug your phone in, yeah. And then I just use Apple CarPlay. Yeah. The only time I ever use the home screen is air conditioning. That's it. Everything else is Apple CarPlay. I do through Apple CarPlay. That's a good tip. That's a good tip, Liam, yeah, to yeah. tell people. Because right? Apple Maps will always be better than any other yeah. map software. And Spotify. Your... Spotify. Just that. there. Yep. Yeah. And then all you need to make sure is that you've got the volume actually turned up. That's the only other thing. Because yeah. oh, if there's no volume up. Yeah. And then you've got all of your playlists wow. recently played, anything that you've saved. That's oh. my favourite. G'day and welcome to Steve's Tesla. This is my channel dedicated to electric vehicles and renewable energy. Subscribe now and let's drive.